growing up in Japan, I never been to church, never heard about Jesus Christ. I was lost, feeling broken. So as a uh, age 13, I started getting involved with the bad friends, doing crimes, smoking weed, getting drunk. When I was 18, uh, I got together with my friends. We were talking about, hey, we got to do barbecue. So we're like, okay, why not we go into Home Depot and break into it and just grab some stuff we need to grill. So at midnight, we just broke into the Home Depot. Police started showing up. There's like 10 police cars with a helicopter just flying around looking for me. And we ran off. I found my friend's house nearby, went home next day, and my friend just texted me and said, hey, I just wanted to let you know, I went to police station and confessed, and I told the police about you guys. The police just told me that you'll be in the jail for a few years. So I went to the court, and in that room, I'm just thinking, I'm regretting everything what I've done, and I can't turn back. This is my life now, I have to face it. The judge went to the side room, and she came back, and she said, you're innocent. You can leave right now. That was the one word I never believed I would hear that day. When I got out the building, I'm like, I'm out. Looking at the sky and thinking, do I have a second life again? If there is God, please help me. You need to change my life. So after I got home from the court, I started making decisions that I need to move out from my home city. So I decided to move up to Tokyo because my brother was living in Tokyo. One month later, we met some Christians who were on the streets. We had this crazy idea with the team to start playing church music and just invite random people that stopped by. And my brother said, hey, we don't have any connection here in Tokyo. Why not we connect it with them? And we didn't know who they are, but they're saying we're from Life Us Church, but we didn't know what that mean. I was with some of the um, other girl leaders that were like, oh, well, they kind of look like they're party people. I don't think they'd be interested in coming to church. But they're saying, we're going to get together on Sunday, and it looks like this. And they showed us a video. It looks fun. It looks like a party. It looks like a club. We're like, oh, this is the place. We got to go. And they're like, yeah, we're going to get together on Sunday. I'm like, Sunday? Party happens on Friday or Saturday. But it sounds good, Sunday. Let's go. Lo and behold, on Sunday, he shows up with his hip hop clothes with him and his brother. And I was like, wow, they came to church. So I got inside the service and they worshiping something that we don't see. They raising their hand, looking up. We're like, what are they doing? Inside of me, I knew they have something different. They have something I don't have and I needed Jesus. And that day I made a decision saying in my heart, I'll believe in you. I got out of the building and I didn't care about how people see me, but I started skipping home because something was overflowing, something was coming out. And I didn't have anything, but I felt like I had everything in me. And four days later, God called me into ministry. I received the purpose for my life, started hearing the plan God has for me. So I made a decision to get baptized. About five months after he became a Christian, we started dating and we were married seven months later. God really talked on our hearts to move to America. So we talked to our pastor in Life House Church and they knew it was a God thing. River Valley Church was giving towards Life House Church. We had that partnership and relationship. So we started watching River Valley Church service online. So we made a decision to move to Minnesota. A year and a half later, God opened the door to be part of River Valley Church staff, and now we're serving at City Campus. I love being part of River Valley because we have such a heart to give so people can hear more about Christ. It's just amazing to be on the giving side now because we used to be on the receiving end. And so I know and I have experienced firsthand where that takes us. Because of Kingdom Builders, because we give, we're not just giving, but we're changing people's life, coming to know Christ, and we get to be part of this. So now I'm so honored and excited to be part of this vision and mission.